This is memory forest. I'll talk about the techniques I used, um, the inspiration behind this painting, um, also what a print would look like, um, and also just how much fun I have using mixed media for artwork and how it gives me a break mentally from the detail work of an oil painting. So first of all, memory forest. Um, I knew I wanted to do a birch tree painting eventually just because I like the black and white of the birch tree. Um, they're very stark against um, backgrounds that are dark. So I wanted a, a forest and you see lots of forests. You see lots of uh, birch tree forest paintings. It's a fun thing to paint. I think that's why you see a lot of them. But I wanted to do something a little different with mine. So instead of just painting birch trees, I decided to use uh, clippings from magazines as the, the trees themselves and have little messages in them and pictures, uh, black and white pictures of people in them. And then I also did a acrylic pour background, but I, I did newspaper, uh, not newspaper, but magazine clippings uh, for colors for the bushes in the forest. So those are actually uh, magazine clippings as well. And then um, a very subtle uh, acrylic sky that has a, a, a steel blue color to it and just some wispy clouds in the background. So the trees themselves, they're various sizes and they're kind of staggered back. So it gives a, a small sense of, of depth in the painting. It's not dramatic because I wanted the I wanted the trees to be the focus and I wanted them to be very kind of almost just modern, um, almost like you, you don't know their trees until you get up close, closer to it. Um, all you see are basically lines from a distance. Um, and then I like how it has very subtle images of people in black and white that I found in magazines in here and you don't see them until you're up close. Um, and then there's some phrases in here that um, just are things we say to each, say to ourselves every once in a while and are phrases that I thought were interesting. Um, so, you know, up here there's like lips and a nose of a man in this tree. And then there's a, a woman walking on the beach and then there's a woman just being contemplating things. And it's almost like dreamlike, um, like they're they're just remembering things and contemplating life. And so I named it Memory Forest because of that. So um, if you look at the bushes too, there's a lot of different textures, different colors in here too. And there, I used a hole punch to just add um, just circles in here because I thought having circles, because these are just all lines, um, it'd be nice to have some round elements in there. So I did the hole punch uh, technique on that and then I just ripped the edges so it looks kind of rough there. So uh, this was um, also a fan favorite. Uh, people liked people like birch trees. They like birch art. So it's a it's an easy kind of sell for people. This is the original. One thing I did do um, for this one is a, I applied a resin uh, top coat to it because when you use magazine clippings um, they will like pull off in time and they're fragile. Um, it's really hard to keep a painting like um, an archival quality um, a mixed media painting intact. It's, it's really hard to do. Um, it's, it's just nice to have a, a, a surface on it that you can wipe down without tearing off a piece of paper and losing part of the painting. So having that resin on it gives it a really um, nice finish. It's permanent. Uh, it's it's very sturdy. So that's that's why I do that on some of my mixed media, just because I I want to keep that that paint that um, paper intact. So you'll see that every once in a while. So as far as prints go, um, when I take a picture of a mixed media with paper, I'll take the high quality image before I put the resin on. That way I get clear color. I don't get reflection from lights, lighting, it's really hard to light something that's shiny. And when you have a, a resin, it's, it's a shiny surface. So I'll take the image before I pour the resin on it. And so the image you get for a print um, will look really sharp, it will look really good. So 
For this one, um, you won't lose anything with a print um, as far as detail goes, because there's not like really tiny details. Um, you'll be able to read the words clearly on a print. So I hope you like Memory Forest.